lot of people still had comments, aftershocks, hangover from Richard Sherman's comments. Everybody had their agenda on this. Everybody had their opinion. It was deep-rooted for some people in what they saw, what they heard, and that's just not the way athletes are supposed to be. you got to be classy. Sometimes you forget, A, it's a game. B, it's a rivalry. C, they're kids. We can say, oh, you know, this guy's a veteran or he went to Stanford. or hey, You know what? Sometimes if you, if you put those clauses in there, it takes away from what we really saw. Raw emotion is what you saw. And you didn't like it, apparently. A lot of people did not like that. It was real. And that's what happens on the field. If you ever go to an NFL game and you're able to be on the sidelines, it will change the way you watch football. It's so much faster. And the, the hits, so much louder. And the talk that goes on. And it's not PG. It's R. They're in their faces. And it, it's, it's a war. It's a war of attrition. I'm going at you. You're going at me. And we have the stakes extremely high. There was a Super Bowl at stake. Crabtree catches that. All of a sudden, Niners going to the Super Bowl. Crabtree's the one talking. Crabtree after the game is probably saying then something about Richard Sherman. But wait a minute. He doesn't do that all the time. He doesn't have dreads. Therefore, he wouldn't be a thug, would he? Was Muhammad Ali a thug? He was colorful. Charismatic, controversial. But he was also a guy who, was he classy? What he said about Joe Frazier wasn't classy. But this is a guy who did something before anybody else did it. And the way he said it. And we were okay with it. Maybe a lot of, a lot of us were okay because of how Ali looked. Handsome. You know, he, well-spoken. You know, poetry. There was charisma to it. Richard Sherman just came out of a game and started yelling right in our face. I mean, he's in our face with that camera. And Fox said, let's dump out of that interview after two questions because they were worried what Richard Sherman was going to say next. Pete Carroll grabbed him and said, hey, I don't mind you playing with that kind of emotion, but don't take away from what the team did. And I, my problem when I see this is there are a lot of selfish players. They think it's about them. I made the play, notice me. I like the guy who scores the one-yard touchdown run. That's the, only, that's the only carry he had. He got the one-yard touchdown run. And then he wants to get up and celebrate. Nobody touched him when he went into the end zone. It was a yard out. So you want to celebrate. And a lot of times you should be just doing your job. I mean, Richard Sherman had... What, two tackles, and he deflected one pass. Now, it was a big pass play. What I saw, I liked. I did. But I liked it because it, it made us discuss a lot of things. Sometimes, you know, race, religion, politics, we always get nervous. And there's always going to be the black-white issue. No matter how far we come, there's always going to be that issue. There's going to be people who have deep roots in this, and they're not budging on it. On both sides. Oh, you know, you middle-aged white guys don't get it. You know, I heard that yesterday. Oh, really? What, what, what don't I get? Huh? Or you'll get people uh, on the other side talking about this. You know, win with class, dignity. It is a war out there in the NFL. Of all the sports that are played, that is truly a war. It's a battle. And guys get hurt. You don't last long. And you get humbled. So Richard Sherman, we'll look back on this one day. It may be in a couple of weeks. It may be in a couple of years. We'll look back on this moment, but we'll also look at a moment where Richard Sherman gets humbled. Everybody in the game gets humbled. Everyone. You know, Joe Montana's got four Super Bowls. Check his uh, other playoff records. Peyton Manning, record-setting performance. Got to win a Super Bowl. Tom Brady, ask him about that. We dominated regular season. Record numbers. Get the Super Bowl, humbled. It happens to every player. And eventually it happened to Richard Sherman. And then you'll get the people who don't like Richard Sherman who say, yeah, there, how do you feel about that? Or somebody's going to call out Richard Sherman. And hopefully Richard Sherman has perspective to say, hey, you know what? He has every right to say that. Every right. 
because I would have done it to him.